Hi, welcome to our very first Finger Puppet Management TV episode. Hope you enjoy. While unconventional, our story begins in the heart of the law, the courtroom, where our new protagonist, Nathan, embarks on his first trial and tribulations, both revolving around the law and management. I think we have the defense on the ropes, Miss Justice. Very good, Nathan. Now submit your final piece of evidence and secure as a win for the Scales of Justice law firm. Oh, Miss Justice, I, I, I can't seem to find the evidence. What are we going to do? We're doomed if we can't find it. This case is lost. No, it's not. When all else fails, a good lawyer uses rational decision-making to find the best alternative when another one closes. Now think what are options? The situation right now is the lack of evidence and deciding what to do without it, and the problem is proving our case without it. Remember Noble, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was the law, nothing is set in stone. Well, there's several alternatives we could pursue. We could ask the judge to wait a second while we go get it, but we do know what the evidence is and we can still use that to our advantage. If we pressure the defendant's statement, when we know it is a lie, we could get them to confess. This would win the case for us without needing physical evidence here, which is our end goal. Without having physical evidence, we can still get our desired results of winning the case. I think we can do this. So the two won their case because of the decision they implemented using the rational decision-making model. Nathan would take his first steps into becoming a better lawyer, and Justice would take her first steps into becoming a very good and high-quality manager for the Scales of Justice law firm. But, as we all know, stories seldom end so simply and so happy. So please stay tuned for more episodes of Scales of Justice.